Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news the Reserve Bank of Australia has cut its official rate again. But first, today's dairy auction has been a generally tame affair, with the overall price fall less than expected. Prices this time are down 0.5% in US dollars, with whole milk powder unchanged and skim milk powder up 3.2%. Other products didn't fare as well, however. And this time the currency has gone against us, meaning the small US dollar price drop is magnified in New Zealand dollars, down 2.7%. There is, however, little in this auction to change the Farmgate milk pay-up forecasts, even if it is the fourth decline in a row. But don't forget that since early May, the cumulative retreat is now more than 8%. Equity markets have been lacklustre over the past 24 hours, wobbling between a small gain and a small loss. On Wall Street, the S&P 500 is virtually unchanged, in no mood to celebrate the record 121-month growth run the US economy has performed, which started with the election of President Obama in the depths of the GFC. In that time, the S&P 500 has risen about 300%. The rise from just prior to the GFC is about 200% but some are now saying that the next US recession will start in 2020. Not helping have been downbeat comments from the UK central bank chief. At the EU, after some fraught negotiations, it's been agreed that the current IMF boss, Christine Lagarde, will replace retiring Mario Draghi as the head of the European Central Bank. At the same time, it was announced that Jean-Claude Juncker will hand over the EU presidency to the current German Defence Minister, Ursula von der Leyen an Angela Merkel protege. In China, analysts are watching official numbers there and they think there is a concerted and major effort to push back on the growing wave of capital flight, one that is being masked in official data. The iron ore price is rising sharply again and official Australian report is forecasting rather a steep drop in iron ore export volumes next year and along with the Brazilian mine woes and expanding demand from China, this price may go even higher yet. In Australia, the Reserve Bank went ahead with another 25 basis points rate cut, as markets expected. That takes their official rate down to just on 1%. Now the flow-through will be watched closely. Savers beware. House prices are likely to get a new burst if banks can get the lending out the door under the new constraints. Most analysts think that this will be the last cut by them in the current cycle, even though the RBA boss said it would go lower if needed. But the RBA is renewing its call on the federal government to do more, actually do something, to assist monetary policy support of their economy. US Treasury 10-year yield is falling and now at 1.98%, down five basis points from this time yesterday. Gold has jumped back up, recovering much of yesterday's drop, up $19 overnight to $1,405 an ounce. US oil prices are sharply lower today as demand fears grow. They are now under $57 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is down to at $63 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is unchanged against the US dollar, now at 66.8 US cents. On the cross rates, we're marginally softer at 95.6 Aussie cents. Against the euro, we're unchanged at 59.1 euro cents. That leads the TWI at 71.5. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.